gonna do? Um, I'm gonna give you a little bit more time to go out and drill. I, I, I'm seeing some some people's brains start gravitate towards getting these um, getting these bars, but I want to make sure that once we're once we're cinching the bar up, we're controlling it, then we're working for a turn. All right, so flat. So we talked about kind of pushing the arm away that we walk. So we kind of started with this kind of four point block. And as they were trying to build their base, we were just using our body parts to block. But the method was basically, I'm driving and I've gotten this guy, I'm forcing his elbow away. And then as he forces his elbow back under, I can start scooping my bar. So anytime I feel that elbow fight back to build a base or to get hands under the chest or to block a pocket is a perfect time. Notice I'm just kind of scooping with my thumb right here and I'm going straight across the back. Okay. Secondly, we were talking about chopping. We were talking about that. It's just normal chop, right? Twisting, chopping, controlling this wrist. And as I'm trying to get this wrist, it's kind of bases out. I'm going head lever. So I'm just hooking. Fatty part of the thumb, hands in the crease, and I'm on my toes. Slide my hips under. Okay, right here to make sure I can just table that arm off and get my bar. And again. I see some of you guys, you get your bar and then you're taking off running before you got it secure. I'll lose this thing quick, okay? I always like coming back to this home base and securing my bar while I'm drilling to make sure I always got a good, clean bar. If I start getting thin right here and this guy starts getting his hand in the mat and fighting backwards, he'll start pushing his hips backwards and I'll lose my bar, okay? So back on your base. So this chop, I'm thigh frying. Jamming, I'm jamming, I'm jamming, I'm trying to get this wrist, and this guy kind of starts basing out. I keep my hand in front, I scoop, scoop the fatty part of his thumb, and I'm not running on my knees up here, okay? I'm trapping the shoulder, I'm not lifting it up, I'm lifting, shelving right here, and then I'm coming in, securing. And again, I bring, I use my body. Okay, I get my hook right here, elbow to elbow, and I use my body to pull the bar back. I don't, I don't go arm to arm. I'll never pull that arm back. Okay, never pull that arm back, all right? So, we're getting to some of these positions to where this bar is starting to allow our, uh, we're starting to allow ourselves to scoop this bar, okay? Same thing on a takedown. He's just on his knees, finishing my double right here, and I'm trapping, trapping, trapping. He's trying to belly down. Trying to belly down. Now, a lot of times, as he starts to belly down and he posts, that back's not hand, that's a good opportunity for me to scoop right here as well. Okay? So we got options. Anytime they're posting, their elbows are getting close, then we can start scooping those bars. Questions there. So we're going to go back out. Now, as we start to get these bars, a lot of you guys are getting a bar and a wrist, easily going to right into our rebar tilt. Okay? And we'll start talking about a lot more of those turns. As, as we're getting there. Um, and lastly, this isn't really out of a takedown, but a lot of times, man, we just, we get that good position on our crab ride, right? Got that high hand side kicking as he starts to post out a little bit. It's an easy time to scoop that bar. Notice that top foot still kicking. And then I'm back on top, good cinch with my bar. So it might be out of a takedown, okay? It might be, what do you think? It might be, I just get a little snag single right here. Okay, I trip them, go down to the mat, drive it up right into my crab ride. High hand side kicking, he's posting out, I just keep kicking right into scooping that bar. So it could be a transition out of our takedown, but we're always looking to bring those elbows back close to our body. So I'm gonna give you about three or four minutes, work into some takedown transitions, right into secure bars. If you can flow right into a takedown or a turn, do it. Okay, if we're still struggling with that, we'll start breaking down some positions here in a second. Go!